to here without messing without messing up my shoes or everything. This thing said I should turn right. But if he, she knows what the right that she's talking about, the right that I'm supposed to cross. The I'm gonna go on the tree on the snow. There's no way I'm gonna do all that. She beats me that I want to stroll. Oh. Nobody asks me. Oh. Now I gotta face the consequences of my actions. Just wanting to participate in this uh, physical activity thing. Eh? Imagine. Oh. 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 Okay. Um. Just the rest of the path. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was slippery. I'm actually kind of. I'm actually lucky that I didn't fall into there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Imagine this. Ah. Koda. The snow really did something. My. I, I take a step and then I fell into this thing here. If you take one step, you're going right inside this. Something like this. Ouch. Hey. Nobody asks you, Aisha. Nobody asks you. Okay. We are going to get there. By fire, by force. We will get there. Imagine. Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> I should literally do See? 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 Those are my steps. Like, I literally went inside. Oh, okay. Hopefully, it's going to be better now. To a better side of the way of the path, a better side. Okay, so, um, um, so about my fall, so I was going to this um team's area and then I was just testing to see if the water, the water, the people, if the large pond of river that I saw, pond of river, <laughs> yeah, I was just so I started like testing on the um. Using my foot. Oh my god. There's yeah, just. I j so I was just testing. Okay. Okay. I felt like I need to catch my breath. Okay. So I was using my foot to test how deep the pond, like the little um, dirty pond that I saw, how deep it was. And. It was a little slippery on the ice, on the like the snow that I was standing on, and I slipped right into the puddle, and it was deep. So, what a adventurous way to find out! So, what an adventurous way to find out! An adventurous and unfortunate, but I mean, Alhamdulillah, I'm good. I didn't break anything. Or, yeah, but yeah. I, my, my shoes, my shoes, they were completely soaked. Like I fell right into it and it was actually quite deep. So I did find out. So I did uh, found out. So I did find out what I was trying to find out. Okay. So I hope this is not, yeah, okay, this is okay. I don't know why... This place. So that was actually why I couldn't even wear my decent. Oh, hold on. I couldn't wear my decent. Um. Uh, um. My decent um shoes, boots, to come around here, because it's it was wet, it was soaked, so I need to let it dry. So I've been managing this shoes for some days now, actually. Wait, when, when did that happen? Anyway? I think that happened like a day or two days ago. About two days ago, yeah. So, yeah, I needed to... 
so we are. Uh, we came to a point. I don't know where we are. But I know we are at the back. Oh, I think we are at the back of Walmart. I think there's the back of the Walmart. Okay, I'm gonna go. Maybe I should go this way, actually. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, no. Oh, you know, because I think there is like some um, muddy place over there, too. There's a muddy place over there. I'm gonna go this way. You know, the interesting thing today is I don't have, I don't have fruits. So I didn't bring any food. Uh, I didn't bring any fruit with me. Oh my god! Ooh, ooh. that was that was um, yeah, yeah. I stepped into that one of those. Oh, and look at that! It's like you you came out of one. You <laughs> you already getting into another one. Finally, some place that I can comfortably walked in bring i didn't have any fruit so i didn't bring any fruit with me i'm hoping that i'll find water somewhere so i can break my fast um probably my maybe seven something let me check yeah actually i was going to say 740 something or 744 but it's actually 745 what a what what a genius i am to my shoes now but anyways, yeah, probably maybe I'll get um, something from Boston Peter and go home. It's... I guess this makeup is... Turn left toward 43rd Avenue. I guess this makeup is not that bad. I didn't, I, um, I wasn't, because I was only like strolling around, so I didn't do so much. But my makeup is always not too much anyway. It's always like light. Just light, you know. You're just walking around somewhere. That's all you need. You don't need too much. That's me personally. The light changes and you're radiating to Natural light do something to you. I'm actually feeling uh, much better that I actually take this stroll. I feel much better. Very much better. Oh, and wow. we're here. Turn, turn, turn. Turn, turn, turn. Turn, turn, turn. Just waiting for to go. So, I don't know about you, but. For me, you know, I've always been um, halal conscious. You go to restaurants and the only thing you can order is like seafood. So I've been halal conscious like that. Like I remember when I was in university, like for the most longest period of time, well, I would only eat like halal. Halal. It gotta be halal. If it's not halal, I'm not ordering it. I remember when I was in school, um, like I, I worked at a like a Mediterranean kind of food place. So, like I love the Jamaican party there, but I don't ever eat it because it's not halal. No, it's really good. I know the one time that I tried it, it was good, but then I found out that it wasn't halal, so I stopped buying it. But fast forward maybe about three or four years later, I don't know what happened to my Iman, like, and then I started eating and then I ate, and like, it was bad, it was, it was weird, but I don't know what happened, just low on Iman somewhere there, somehow, so, yeah, but you know, I can, I always kind of eat sushi, because sushi is like, mostly, most of them is um, seafood, so, I enjoy seafood that way. So if I go into restaurants and if everything there is all meaty or stuff, I wouldn't buy it. Except if it's, but if they have options for like salmon, which most many um, restaurants have, even though it's pricey, but to have something protein in my food, I'll say, okay, salmon or some, I like shrimp too. So I sometimes could get uh, shrimp as well. 
So I've been very conscious of that and like Alhamdulillah, I'm working my way back into um, eating halal, like only halal. May God help me. May God help us all through. <laughs> it's like 15 minutes to um, iftar. So, this minute, you know, I'm actually thinking maybe I should just sit here and like um, break my iftar here. Oh, would be nice. I'm just, I think I'm just gonna sit here and I can break my guitar. Maybe by nine o'clock I'll head home. And hopefully I'm home by nine thirty ish so I can pray my girl and then we shall It's a nice quiet morning for me, so this is gonna be twenty. So I'm a, I'm that kind of person that will go to a restaurant and will be ordering the same thing over and over again like each single time i always like get um, pasta here with the salmon or salmon bowl or sometimes pizza but i haven't eaten Boston pizza in so long but i always always like get the pasta and so i don't know i don't know what else to get though because like like every other, except that I want to, if I want to eat vegetarian, but I'm not, mm -mm. I'm not going to eat. You know? Okay. So, talking about halal food. So, I was, I think I was reading something, or I don't know, uh, maybe watching something, and then they talk about rennet in um, most um, cheese products. And I was like, is there something that you can have that is not, that is just plain pure and halal and like why is life so hard? Why is like getting food or trying to like uh, eat food is also hard? Mm, like why? Why isn't it just simplified and everything? Because now I just want to get my pasta with some salmon or maybe shrimps in that's all I want. Like, but then I was thinking that I want some cheese in there, like um, maybe white cheese. But you know what? My understanding was that it's the cheddar cheese, like the yellow one, that is not that is not halal. I wasn't. I usually kind of think that uh, the white one is okay, like the mozzarella white cheese, the shredded one. Thank you. But then I was, I don't know. but maybe Boston pizza's um, cheese is different. So if Charlie is in about uh, five minutes, but you know what? I have. Um, I'm trying to hide this light that is just kind of like too much. So. <laughs> Maybe I should do this so it's just all covered up. Okay. So if Shari is in about five minutes, and but then you know what? I have two apps for um, Adan on my phone. So one said it's eight thirteen is if Char Maghrib, and then the other one said it's seventeen. <laughs> so it's like four minutes are uh, different. And you know what? This happens to me when I wake up for Suhur too. And because like today I woke up for Suhoor and one of the app was like um, 4.44 and the other one is just like 4.45 or 4.46. Just about 4 or 3 minutes difference. And I was like... So I've heard somewhere that um, you should go with the faster one. Or maybe I'm just not remembering this very well. But I, I think, yeah, they said you should go for the faster one. So which will be like the shorter one. So right now, I should break my fast at 13, which is at the Magritte, or is it 8.17 for the other half? 
I don't know, there is some running about it. Like if you have like two times like that, you should go for the closer one, which would be like the 813. I don't know, because that's what happened to me to uh that's what happened to me today during Suhoro. It just we are done called and I was and I still had food in my mouth and I was like, okay, but that was for the first app. What about the second one? <laughs> the second one was about like two minutes later. I was like, I don't know, like which one is which? There was a reeling about it, I've heard it before, but somehow I've forgotten. But I used the closer one, like the faster one. And yeah. But you know what? Sunset is before Maghrib. Sunset is before Maghrib. So I can break my fast before the Adam call. Because that's the ruling. Like you break your fast once the sun sets, not when the Adan for my grip called. You know what? I cannot come and kill myself. I'm just going to order my pasta and maybe I will get some um, sweet potatoes too. Because I do like their sweet potatoes too. Doing videos with my phone, it's my battery. I had about maybe like 80 or 90 percent before I left home. Right now it's at 58 percent. Like just leaving it without even recording anything on camera, it just it's my battery. So I did order my food and yeah, it's pasta, nothing else. I can't come and kill myself, like I said, no. You know when you drink cold, cold water and then you get like this sensation, just like around your eye and like, your head. So this is so basically this is how um Ramadan week three is going. And I finished the recording no I'm sorry, I finished the editing for the first two ones. It's actually quite long than I intended it to be. I thought it's going to be like maybe about 30, 30 minutes or less, but it was long. I ended up cutting so many things because it was about two hours total food. I was like, oh, I don't need that much, but yeah, I edited it. I'm going to be publishing it in a few, in a day or two, depending on how the uploading goes. Because I don't know why my uploading is so. It used to be not that slow, but. It's very slow now, so I don't know what's going on. But I'm going to, yeah, yeah. I'm going to sit and have my iftar. It's actually quite lovely. You know, like I enjoy breaking my fast and going to iftar pots. Like it's really nice. Like, like you can't beat it. The the kind of food that I mean, like I don't have food, so I ended up getting food um, from the iftar potluck that I went and that was the food that I had uh, that I had for my suhoor today and I don't have any more food like literally like I served like this yeah actually I served like this chicken that my neighbor made for me there's nothing else I have that I have cooked and I was planning on cooking especially because I wanted to do a recipe of chicken that I did with my rice noodles some months, maybe a month ago. So I want to remake it because somebody, one of my followers asked and now, and yeah, it, I was going to use the chicken that my neighbor made to do it, but since she already did it, I'm going to buy a new one and make the recipe again. Like honestly, I really thought that I would make it today, 
and maybe um, cook spaghetti and eat it but it might be that that's not gonna happen and I'm gonna have to buy a new one and then I'll do that like I'm sorry that it's taking this long it shouldn't take this long I swear I wanted to do it today but yeah bear with me it's coming I'm really sorry that it's taking this long but hopefully soon I will have it and yeah I actually thought that Boston people, it's not packed, like it's literally empty. Or maybe people are just coming in. Or maybe they're just at the sports bar. Maybe people are just at the sports bar or something. And yeah, because this place is empty. Like, but I like it because, you know, the guy is shy. I'm actually very shy. Like, I'll be like talking like this on camera, but you meet me in real life. <laughs> Well, we're getting there. We're gonna grow that confidence, inshallah. The thing I was doing before is I didn't want to lose my recording, so every time I pause my recordings. But now because I have like only like about fifty something left of battery left, I I have to like stop it. So I'm saving all my battery. <laughs> yeah, because I'm still gonna walk home. Or maybe, you know, actually, the mosque is actually very close to the, this place. So I can walk to the mosque, um, pray my Maghrib there, and maybe even join them for Isha and maybe Tarawi. Because, yeah, what happened, what ended up happening yesterday was I didn't end up like doing my doing the Tarawi there because we were leaving. So maybe today I'll. Oh, look at how things just work out. So, am I actually, hopefully they, I think they do Tarawi every day, so I'm going to see if I can go in and like join the Tarawi prayer. It would be awesome. It would be awesome. Yeah, I'm not, I'm alternating between my um, apple juice and the water. I'm actually like just give it better flavor actually. I like it. I feel like it might be selfish for me to not show the food that I'm eating. So here, thank you, no thank problem. you so much, thanks. Okay, so that's the spaghetti, and that's the fries, and my juices, and drink. Like, please join me, please join me. Oh, look at this one. This one is so big. And I actually end up taking some of it home um, so I can eat for my support. I just remember something I saw on um, on Instagram or TikTok, whatever, wherever. Let us wrap everything. Let us wrap.
I don't know, does it actually taste good? I know it's just a, but I don't know, I'm just trying it out. If, it's, if there is something, it tastes good. I mean, it's not bad, but maybe it's just the fries that make it taste so good and the chipotle sauce. Who knows? Look, they changed the color. I knew they used to have like a black, but now, now they changed it to red. Nice. Now I'm going to throw away the other ones that I have in my room and change it to this red one. That's really nice. This come in handy. You have no idea how many times I've taken food to my work using Boston Pizza's bowl. <laughs> or else you have to buy one at Walmart or New Pearls or Dararama. They come in handy. Look, I think I tried. I actually think I tried. <laughs> you know, I like when I go to restaurants and I finish my drink. Like this my water and there's my um, apple juice because I would usually finish like the juice and not finish the water but I want to form the habit of actually finishing my water because then with all the Ramadan going on I like you will be like so with the Ramadan going on I will be getting all dry leaves I want to increase my hydration like I think this is the second time that I'll go to restaurants and I actually finish my water it's bad finish your water guys Water is good. It's essential. Like, essential. Mm. I'm definitely feeling very good that I finish it, actually. Like, I don't ever go to a restaurant and finish my water. Like, especially water. I'll finish the juice, but not the water. But it's not going to happen anyway. I'll be finishing my work. And I like the lemon it is. actually has add a very nice flavor to it. So that's how today went. It's about 9.08. So hopefully if I can walk down to the mosque, then I won't miss Margaret. And yeah. But yeah, like I said before, yeah, um, there are more people in the bar than the restaurant so can you see me can you see me now i just kind of disappear with the nights i said my teeth <laughs> oh my god you know this is giving like pure nigerian ramadan vibe you know just be walking to asam asam ah what's that joke Ah, Samuel. Ah, what's that? Like, what's that? Oh, the the only thing missing is I don't have like I don't know friends to stroll with. People be like strolling, walking thirty minutes to a particular masjid because their friend go to that masjid during uh Ramadan. Hey, Ogao. But anyway, this is giving the Ramadan vibe. Shot. But yeah, I'm just going to walk down. I'm trying to find a place where like the light can shine in my face. Because <laughs> I just kind of disappear with the night. Like, if the night is you, uh-uh, black people, hey, we day. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm just trying. I'm just strolling, walking down to Masjid. Yeah, that's fun. That's a fun thing to do. Look at how this works out though. This is so nice. Yeah, look at how this works out. Just work out perfectly fine. The message is about maybe about 10 minutes walk. I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna see, but I think it's about 10, 